Doctor, please. Take Jean back to the car. I must get this. This is Colonel Strigger. How do you do, sir? A shattering business, Colonel. The Prime Minister's already at Checkers. We'll be there in 30 minutes. We've been in constant communication with Paris, Moscow and Bonn during your visits. I think the British government's approval will be formality. The evidence is absolutely conclusive. If I might... Uh, sure. It may speed things up. My God. The clincher is at the back. It's an enlarged single frame from the city film, sir. It couldn't possibly be a fake. The film was found undeveloped still in the camera. It's genuine. Take my word for it. Keep pace with the escort. Take the file, sir.
Good morning. Miss Eland. The report. Thank you. Messages. Information. Q21 answer negative. Q46 satellite link effective. Q9700. The computer readouts available from today. Have them put straight through to me, will you? Yes, sir. Mr. Freeman to see you, sir. All right, Mr. Freeman. But the girl in reception calls me Alec. So? Well, doesn't that inflame you with jealousy? Obviously, it doesn't. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east. And Juliet is the sun. Voice print, positive identification, 97, Freeman, Alec E. all the tests? All of them. I bet. I'll keep you a moment, Alec. what I send for you? Take a look at this. That's Westbrook Electronics, isn't it? Yeah. What's left of it? Well, what happened? For 10 years, there have been setbacks. We've had uh, accidents, miscalculations, errors of judgment, and other mishaps. Let's put Westbrook Electronics down to other mishaps. You mean a UFO? Well, there's no proof. So bang goes the Utronic project. Just when we thought we really had something to track them down. Now, don't panic, Alec. The Utronic equipment is safe. It wasn't in the building. It's intact, fully tested, and ready for shipment. The breakthrough. Shadow have had Moonbase and the other satellites operational for the past few months. There have been a few UFO sightings, but no interceptions. We've got the teeth. Soon we'll have the eyes. Now, Freeman, you know how important this is to our whole organization. Now, the Utronic design team and the equipment are ready to be picked up in Los Angeles and flown here to England. Now, I'm making you responsible for the security of the entire operation. I mean you, personally. Right. Wow, must be quite a while since you landed an SST. Just let's say it's part of the personal service. Shadow Control, this is Seagull X-ray. Confirm arrival, Stevenson Base, Los Angeles, 0835. Takeoff scheduled, 1100 hours. Roger, Seagull X-ray. Call Moon Base, will you? Yes, sir.
status check. Target? Affirmative. Magnetic field? Check. Saturation density? Green. Resonator? Affirmative. Code? OK. Displacements? Go. Filters? Check. Fluctuation? Affirmative. Reflex? Excuse me. Right. Shadow control for you, Lieutenant. Right. Lieutenant Ellis. Good morning, Gay. I think I might have some action for you. I want Moonbase put on yellow alert from 1045 to track Seagull X-ray. Now it's carrying shadow VIPs on the Utronic equipment. So let's keep everybody on their toes. We can't afford to take chances. Roger. Joan, announce a yellow alert for 1045. Yes, Lieutenant. And complete the status check. I think this is going to be for real. I'm going to take a break. I'll be back about 10.30. OK. Moon base will be on yellow alert from 10.45 Earth elapsed time. Repeat, 10.45 EET. All space trackers to be fully operational by 10.45 EET. Astronauts to be on standby. Joanna? Be right with you, Lou. No hurry. I want to run a computer check on the interceptor systems in about 10 minutes. Hi, Gay. Hello, Lou. Do you think this could be it, Lieutenant? Looks like it, Lou. An SST traveling at Mach 4 is a pretty tempting target. Tickless is carrying the new Utronic equipment. So, Mark. So this time it could be real? Yeah, it could be. Well, I guess we could all do with a bit of action. Well, I could do with a cup of coffee. Sure. Thanks. Put Skydiver in the picture. Yes, sir. Message from Shadow Control, sir. Yellow alert at 10.45. Right. At last entry. Did you send it? Yes, sir. A refueling schedule. Transmitted on security code B. Sorry, sir. How long have you been with us, Ford? Just over two years, sir. Two years. Long enough to know how important security is to Shadow. Now, look. This headquarters, controlling moon base, the satellites, and a fleet of submarines, is 80 feet below a film studio, right? Now, 400 people work up there, and not one of them knows all this exists. I have to play games, pretending to be the studio's chief executive. No one even dreams what my real function is. That's what security is all about. I'm sorry, sir. Sometimes it's pretty difficult. Difficult? So you think it's difficult, huh, Ford? Well, I'll tell you when it gets difficult. Have you ever thought about the victims of UFO incidents? Have you ever considered their parents, brothers, sisters? What do we tell them? 
They can never know the truth. So they live in agony for years, praying that someday their loved one may turn up, clinging to a thread of hope. Don't ever tell me that security's difficult. Sometimes it gets pretty close to home. The yellow alert starts in two minutes, sir. Be right with you. Stevenson Base, this is Seagull X-ray. Liftoff check complete. Liftoff clearance. Roger Seagull X-ray. You are clear to go. Yeah. 10.45. Right. Brakes. Off. Airspeed building. 130. 140. 160 V1. VR. Rotate. This is Moonbase calling Sid. This is Space Intruder Detector. Pass your message. Seagull X ray carrying VIPs and neutronic equipment is airborne. Track progress of aircraft until further notice. Keep sharp lookout for UFO. Please pass your code so that your instructions can be complied with. Stand by to receive code. Standing by. Thank you. Your code is correct. I have Seagull X-ray on scanners. It is on course. Speed, 1500 knots. Moonbase computers confirm course correct. Airspeed, 1500 knots. Right. Maintain tracking. I had a place check complete, sir. Okay. Steer 042. Steer 042. 042. Maintain present speed. Maintain speed, 40 knots. Take over, will you, Bill? I'm going back to do my stuff with the passengers. All right. Kamala? Good morning. Colonel Alec Freeman. Ah, Colonel. I'd like to congratulate you and your team, Herr Mahler. This looks like the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Oh, not my team, Colonel. Uh, may I introduce our chief designer, Virginia Lake? How do you do, Colonel? Well, for the first time in my career, I wish I was flying subsonic aircraft. Uh, the trip would take that much longer. Uh, just in case anyone's interested, uh, I'm Phil Wade. Oh, how are you? Well. Looks like you're the answer to all our prayers. Would you like to see the Utronic equipment, Colonel? I think your equipment is fabulous, but uh, I am familiar with it. Really? Yes. For instance, I know that a Utronic beam travels instantaneously. Almost instantaneously. Well, anyway, it means we'll be able to detect UFOs even when they're flying many times the speed of light in deep space. Go on. So, our moon base interceptors will have a chance to destroy them before they reach the Earth. Very good. I can tell you more over dinner. Don't you think you better get back to your little seat up front? <laughs> I suppose so. I'll be seeing you. Colonel, you were right. You are familiar with the equipment. Everything okay? Yes, sir. No sign of any activity. Good.
I'll be in my office. My turn. Red alert. Red alert. UFO 428-146 green. Got it. 428-146 green. Speed. Solid. Trajectory termination. Coming up. This is moon base to shadow control. Predicted trajectory termination, North Atlantic. Speed, solid. Going for intercept, out. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, immediate launch. Interceptors, go. Right. UFO sighted, 428-146 green, will report. Attention all defense systems. This is a maximum security alert. Attention all defense systems. I say again, this is a maximum security alert. Condition red. Right. MCC reading 101264110. Missile timing 2496. Missile program completed. Range 8 million miles closing. 7 million miles. Missile firing 5 decimal 4 seconds. Skydiver. And get me Alec Freeman. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, Miss Lake, Shadow Control have just informed me that a UFO is approaching the North Atlantic. I'm afraid we must assume that this aircraft is its target. I'm going to reduce height in order to gain the advantage of cloud cover. This will mean we'll have to reduce speed, but of course in the dense atmosphere, so will the UFO. Presumably, that increases Shadow's chances of intercepting it. Yes, it does. I'd fasten your seatbelts if I were you. Look, don't worry. It'll be okay. Anyway, we have a dinner date. I wouldn't let anything interfere with that. Thank you.
Info entering visual speed range. Radar and visual alert. UFO on radar track speed Mach 5. Thank God for the atmosphere. It's the best protection we have. Have positive radar fix. Well, it's up to skydiver now. In position, sir. Right. Five, Stand by. Four, three, two, one, zero. Launch stations. Launch stations. Clear one. One clear. Clear two. Two clear. Ready for takeoff, sir. OK, lift off stations. Lift Check off boosters. stations. Checking boosters. Circuits. Cut boosters. H-bolt circuits, OK. Checking boosters. Relays, OK. Good night, skipper. Interlocks engaged. Stabilize gyro. Trigger circuits, OK. Stand by for liftoff. Shadow control from Sky One, airborne. Position zero two zero, red. Roger, Sky One. Airspeed down to 600 knots. Right. Lower heat shield. Right. I don't like it. These clouds give about as much cover as a G-string on a belly dancer. Sky one to Seagull X-ray. Over. Oh, Peter, am I glad to hear you. What's your position? Right above you. Level off at 20,000. Sky one to Seagull X-ray. Have you four on screen? Closing rapidly. Roger. Ten degrees port. Right. U4 at 12 o'clock. You are the target. Coming into attack. U4 and at Cloud Lair. Keep a sharp lookout. Roger. to shadow control. Reporting direct hit on UFO. It's gonna crash into the sea. Good shooting, Sky One. Come in, Seagull X-ray. Alec, are you okay? I've aged about five years, but we're still in one piece. Hello, Sky One. 
Follow it down, Captain. Use your reconnaissance cameras. Roger, will do. It went straight under. It seems to be breaking up. Hold it. There's a body. Please confirm. Did you say body? Yes, it's a body. and the other tracker stations will have the eutronic system fitted and operational within a week. Oh, well, that's just great. Oh, you look tired, Alec. Why don't you uh, help yourself to a drink? Thanks. I think I will. You never touch it, do you? Uh -uh. Self-control. Maybe drinking needs more self-control. Well, when does... Uh... It arrived. Any time now. We waited a long time for this one. Yes. Ten years. It's been ten years since we had the first confirmed UFO landing on Earth. And that was after a decade of speculation, reports, official denials, you name it. You know, Alec, when I was made commander of Shadow, I thought it was all going to happen. You've done a good job the best. Well, I've tried. But how far have we progressed? I mean, what do we really know about UFOs? What are they? Where do they come from? What do they want? Shadow section. Your special patient has arrived, sir. We will use underground corridor 32 to Shadow Medical Center. Right. Well, maybe some of the answers are coming in now. Well done, Peter. Thanks. You're wanted in debriefing immediately. Right. See you later. What's the position, Doctor? Alive, but in a critical condition. Excuse me. What are the chances of survival? Well, he was equipped with an advanced apparatus that enabled him to breathe liquid. The helmet was removed as soon as he was picked up. An attempt was made to restore normal breathing. Problem is that there's still some liquid left in his lungs. So it's too early to say yet. Excuse me. Space travel in a liquid environment. The very thing we've been experimenting with. Yes. Well, apparently they've done it. I must ask you to leave now. Right. Let me know the moment you have anything, Doctor.
Is he alive, Doctor? Yes. Well? Well, the general analysis has shown that he's humanoid. You mean, like us? More or less. Body temperature, three degrees paranormal, blood pressure rather low, muscular development poor. The skin has an artificial green coloration, probably absorbed from the liquid. The interesting thing here is that the hair hasn't picked up this tint, which suggests that the liquid contains a bioacrophilic compound. Also, the fact that the eyes were protected by plastic shell seems to support this theory. Anyway, we'll know more when we get the computer readout from the first electromedical check. It'll be a few minutes. solar system probably a hundred million million miles from Earth. It's incredible. What is? Well, we can't be certain yet, but this preliminary test shows organ and gland transplants. Heart, liver, left lung, thyroid. what this could mean, Alec? It's still theory. Theory. Fact. After almost ten years of possible, probable, and confirmed UFO incidents. Fact. On a number of fully documented occasions, mutilated bodies found after UFO attacks. Organs missing. Fact. An electromedical examination on the first alien we lay our hands on shows organ transplants. The doctors aren't certain. No. Not yet. But I'm willing to bet that our proof lies at the end of that corridor. Intensive care unit. We have an emergency. I'm afraid he's dead. Postmortem. 48 hours. Make it 24. Not the details. Just what really matters. The rapid aging isn't documented in the report. We're not sure why it happened, but it's certainly connected with the reaction of Earth's atmosphere on the body. Now, gentlemen, let's concern ourselves with the three main questions regarding UFOs. One, 
Where do they come from? Now, the fact that the lungs were filled with an oxygenated liquid seems to indicate a subjection to phenomenal acceleration and fantastic speed over a long period, long enough for the skin to pick up the green coloration of the liquid. Now, all this would appear to add up to an extended journey through space, perhaps several months, at many times the speed of light. Question number two, who are they? Well, obviously, in science and technology, several hundred years in advance of man. But everything in this report seems to add up to a dying race. Hereditary sterility was evident. But by using drugs and advanced transplant techniques, they could have found a way to stop the natural aging process. They are also highly intelligent, so they presumably come to Earth knowing the risk of contact with our atmosphere. Which brings us inevitably to question number three. Why do they come? This report indicates five major organ and gland transplants. In the case of the heart, tissue compatibility tests shows that it was human in origin. It came from Earth, gentlemen. Therefore, one of the reasons they must obviously come is to obtain organ replacements. There may be other reasons. Imagine a dying planet in some distant corner of the universe. Its natural resources exhausted. Its inhabitants sterile. Doomed to extinction. Situation we may one day find ourselves in, gentlemen. So they discover Earth, abundant and fertile, able to satisfy their needs. They look upon us not with animosity, but with callousness, as we look upon our animals whom we depend on for food. Yes, it would appear they are driven by circumstance across a billion miles of space, driven on by the greatest force in the universe, survival. Yes, sir. There's no possible doubt? No, sir. Electronic tissue analysis is as positive as a voice print. Right. sister, isn't it? Yes. I'm afraid she's dead, Peter. There's no longer any doubt. I think you know how sorry I am. What happened? I don't think you'd like to know the details. I think I'd like to know. Your sister was last seen in the vicinity of a UFO incident nearly 10 years ago. The alien's body recovered from the sea was subjected to intense medical examination. The heart was a transplant. The donor was Leela Carlin. What will you tell your parents? I don't know. You realize, of course, that they can never know the truth. funeral without a body, a symbol of human compassion, the long finger of tragic coincidence stretching across a billion miles of space. Is this the end or the beginning? A 
where does the universe and where does it begin